thousand titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. The Kicking It With KC Show has partnered with Lyft to bring you a discount. You can get $5 off your first ride by using the promo code KC Podcast. That's K-Y-S-I-I Podcast. Welcome to the Kicking It With KC Show. You will find that this show is highly informative, highly entertaining, and highly addictive. Follow him on all his social media. Let's kick it. It is from this highland region of Kisi. A conscious Jubilee leadership once again visited the opposition strongholds of Kisi and Bungoma counties. In Kisi town, the women walk side by side. I'm the law around here. All that boy got to do is just play the damn thing. It's going to be undeniable, man. <laughs> undeniable, man. I'm, I'm knocking somebody the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you are the fan, what a fan. You re, you re, kicking it with Kicking KC. It with KC. Show, 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 show. show, show, show. Yes, you've reached another episode of the Kicking It with Key C Show. This is another 2018 blessed day. Happy to have you here engaged on a Thursday night here on this beautiful day in the ATL where I stay. And I'm actually broadcasting live over the Two Live Stews radio network. Shout out to the brothers Doug and Ryan Stewart. So, today's topic, some of them will be hard hitting, some of them will be funny, but most of all, I'm going to leave you here thinking, thought provoking. So, first off, let me tell you how I am. I'm, I'm great here. I'm doing well. I got a room full of folks here chatting live on Spreaker.com. They're now in the chat room. So if you are engaged and you've got the interface open and you've got some bubbles, chat bubbles, these, po- these folks are in the chat room interacting, chatting live. So I want to first say shout out to a man, Big John B, straight up in here first. I got my man June B77 up in this piece. I got my man Melvin. Hey Melvin, how you let Big John and uh, June beat you in, man? Melvin, you the first one up in here, man. I got my man Seth Galloway up in here. I got my man Jay Fish, the microwave. Another X Squad affiliate. I forgot Melvin, also X Squad affiliate. Shout out to him as well. Representing that East Side. Hey, if y'all want high quality work, Done on your automobile and you're in the Atlanta metro area, be sure to holler at my man Melvin. Fair rates, honest mechanic, that dude does it all. You really want to see him. You got an issue with your car or you know somebody with an issue with their car. Holler at me, I get you Melvin's information if you don't have it already. Shout out to my man ABM, aka Angry Black Man, up in the chat. Another X Squad affiliate up in here representing that Tampa Bay. 
I got my man Sluggo, another X Squad affiliate, Sluggo X, as he goes by now. You know what I'm saying? Welcome. Welcome to my man DJ Knox, another X Squad affiliate. Be sure to catch him live on xsquadaffiliates.com as well as Spreaker. He's got Soul Meets the Streets Radio where he's rocking with some of the dopest jams out from the past, present, and future. He's also a dope producer, so be sure to follow him on all his social media. Uh, and let's see, I think I covered everybody straight up right there. Uh, so, I like to say right off the bat, man, I am, I am happy to finally, like I said, I cut the cable, man, a long time ago. My man Doug talked about that um, recently. Because right around the same time when he cut the cable, I was thinking about it. But I still held on and held with the the standard internet and cable providers. I was like, man, I'm not about to go on that island. So I didn't. But at that time, I helped him configure his Cody. He got all the Cody sticks going. I had Cody myself, but I still didn't cut the, cut the cord. I still was rocking with Cody and the cord at the same time. So recently... As of this year, I finally cut the cord just with internet and with streaming services. Man, there's so many different choices out there. If you want to go with a standard one, you can go with Sling TV. You can go with the PlayStation View. You can go with Direct TV Now. You can go with YouTube TV. But there's some other ones, the IPTVs that are out there, like Set TV, 500 channels for $20. That's right, 500 channels for $20. My only issue with it and why I didn't get it is because of the interface. Because you can only rock it on a Windows machine, a MacBook operating system. So meaning you had to run it on, the, on your computer, Android boxes, and I think a Fire Stick. So that, you think that's pretty much everything. But see, I had Roku in the house. I also got Google Chromecast. You know what I'm saying? I would like to play it on a phone and be able to cast to my, cast to my uh, machine. I mean, to my TVs. Only problem is some of my folks got iOS devices, so it's not so friendly with that. Even though it works on the MacBook, it doesn't necessarily work on the iPhone. You know how, you know how Apple is with that. So, set TV is dope, but I've heard Nitro has upstaged set TV. You get 1,500 channels for $20. I mean, like, for real. <laughs> but, 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 you know, all of this stuff's coming down to an end once they... They they did the they, they they repaired the net neutrality, and so these cable providers now have the power. So if they decide to upcharge you for going to some opposite of what their their plans are, or, or doing something you know that they deem as not beneficial to them, they can upcharge you. That's their right. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that crazy? But that's what they officially can do here. So, hey. Oh, Melvin, you say I got a call? <laughs> hey, man, yeah. I sound a little different on the Melvin. My voice, my voice. I don't have a cold. I got these allergies, bro. Let me tell you about that, man. So, I never had allergies coming up, man. So, I get here in the A, in, in your older age, and all of a sudden you get allergies. And I think everybody that's here in Atlanta at some point in time catches these allergies, man. It makes no sense, but that's what happens around here, man. It's, it's. Absolutely crazy. And I don't even see the yellow stuff out yet. So it's that it's that hidden, those hidden pollen molecules that are floating around. But man, they had me all messed up this week for real. So I decided, you know, I took a little. Uh, did I do Allegra? I did Allegra or Zyrtec? One of those two. I did Zyrtec, and man, I think I was about to run off the damn road two nights ago. <laughs> man, I was driving home from work. Man, I was like, man, I'm sleepy as hell. I was really tired, man, for real. And, uh, you know, you had to stop light. You just like, let me just close my eye for a second. You know what I'm saying? You close your eye for a second. Like, oh, damn. Shit. Let me not let me not go to sleep at the light. You know what I'm saying? So, that was happening, man, after taking that Zyrtec. And I had no idea Zyrtec made you drowsy like that. But some people say it react, you know, depends on who it is and how they react to it. So, that's what I ran into with the Zyrtec. I had some Allegra. I took some of that I had recently. And that was cool. But, yo, that's this natural remedy. Some of that old grandma stuff, man. There's a natural remedy that I took that my wife had conjured up. I saw it on the internet. And yo, that stuff knocks the congestion straight up out of you. And I ain't talking about the uh 
ain't talking about whiskey and a little whiskey before you go to bed, even though that does the same thing. But this one is apple cider vinegar. The real apple cider vinegar with the uh, with the pulp in it. They call it the mother. So you get that kind. You can get that Bragg's. And I think Heinz makes some as well. But you get that organic, that real apple cider vinegar. Get your teaspoon of that. Get a teaspoon of that. Get some lemon juice in there. Let's see. So you got apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, um, honey. It's a teaspoon of honey. Followed by about a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Stir that up and drink that. That mug will have you clear about probably about 20 minutes after that. And then you go to bed and you probably sweat that all out. And you're good the next day. For real, man, that's some good stuff. It's good to take anyway. Say that, they say that that concoction, not just for cold, but it's good for breaking down fat. Like if you're doing a, a fat burning diet or something, you know what I mean? Some energy for the day. It does all kinds of things. Google it. See what I'm talking about. Don't just take my word for it. Go and see. Do the research yourself. And you know, you, you're going to find a lot of information, but a lot of people aren't really going to tell you what's up, what's the 411 on it, because it keeps the money out of their pocket as far as the pharmaceutical companies. They want you to be laced on them drugs all the time. You know what I'm saying? They want you to be stuck on that. They want you to, be, they want you to keep going to Walgreens or CVS and paying your copays and getting those drugs and staying on it. But... You know what I'm saying? There's so many natural things out there. Yo, shout out to that bad DJ up in here. Yo, I saw you had your new show popping off. I didn't get a chance to get into it. I'm going to get into it this week. But I see that bad DJ has now popped on the scene. That's the cousin of that ninja. Hey, welcome to the Kicking It With KC show, my brother. Yeah, so if you stay on those natural things, if you think about the body, the body can heal itself. Natural foods, supplements, Minerals and, and and just doing the right thing as far as exercise, water, sleep, all that stuff. You pretty much can self heal yourself. Does it sound right? Self heal yourself. Yeah, you pretty much can self heal yourself. You know what I mean? Because that's that's what we we're, we were that's how we were made. The bodies are a complex machine that can actually take care of itself. But if you go abuse it, then you know that's. That's what happens, man. We abuse it all the time with all of the liquors, all of the red meats, all of the sugar, all that type of stuff, man. So anyway, I'm going to keep moving. Yo, I saw a headline, Craig Mack. So Craig Mack passed away last week. With Craig Mack passing away, I saw they had the funeral. I saw a post by my man DJ Scratch of EPMD. So DJ Scratch... Wrote on social media that he was the only celebrity at Craig Mack's funeral. For real. I mean, that <clears throat> that makes no sense at all to me. I mean, that's like shame on Diddy, bro. Like, what's up? Come on, Diddy. Come on, Faith. Come on, 112. I mean, hell, even g that was g that in, in jail. What's my man? g that what's the other dude? Yo, damn, I can't think of it. Like, whoa. Anyway, all the bad boy artists, man. You know what I'm saying? Any of them could have showed up there. Everybody can't have the same excuse that they didn't know when it was. So they saying, did he try to say that he wasn't informed of when the uh, funeral was? He didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? That don't make no sense to me, bro. That don't make no sense. Hey, Sluggo, tell my cousin welcome back to the eight. And... Sorry she had to endure any cold, but it's back here, it's warm down here on this end. It just got to the nice high 70s, 80 degrees. Welcome back to this tropic, this tropical weather. And 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 I'm out, and I'm out on the way to the Bahamas on Saturday morning. So I'll be getting up in the uh the air. Actually, we're driving out of Florida, and then I'm going to the Bahamas on Sunday morning for the for the week. Actually, for four days, and then for the last two days, I'll be kicking it down to Fort Lauderdale. So I'll be kicking that with uh, my man Jeff Fox, another X Squad affiliate. So folks, you know what I'm saying? We got a couple new folks that joined us that haven't really been in my show. They know you may have heard of us, heard of the people that are you know here in the in the show and some of the podcasters, etc. Some guys uh, did you know like for the first time just probably hearing me. But I got my man that bad DJ 
who I've seen around, 